Gvoke glucagon is a prescription medicine used to treat very low blood sugar in adults and children ages two years and above with diabetes. Please see important safety information at the end of this video and full prescribing information at www.gvokeglucagon.com. Sending Macy to school was daunting in those early days. The biggest concern, of course, for me and probably many parents is a severe low at school. What if she's alone or what if she went to the bathroom and, you know, didn't realize she was low? When Macy was diagnosed in second grade, it was at the very tail end of the school year. I just stayed on campus all day. I was so terrified. And then we had the rest of summer to really get our arms around type 1 diabetes and what her care plan should look like. Prior to the start of her third grade school year, I reached out to the school nurse and met with, you know, her and the administration to put a plan in place for Macy's care. It had been several years since the school had seen someone with type 1 diabetes, so it was an opportunity to really update things, and they were incredibly supportive, and we came up with a, a really wonderful plan to keep Macy safe at school. The plan involved having a health clerk basically come on full time, and one of her primary responsibilities was to monitor Macy's blood sugar during the day. It was really great having a health clerk at school with me because she was always on it and watching when I wasn't. Like, if I were low and I knew I needed to go get sugar, she was already down there with a packet of gummies for me. I was brought in to monitor Macy's blood sugar levels. If I would see an uh, arrow going up or down, I would immediately respond to her classroom or her the playground, wherever she would be at the time. I would sit with her for the 15 minutes that it would take after treatment and wait to do a retest again of her blood sugar levels. Macy is very responsible for her age. I think getting her diagnosis as young as she did, it really kind of empowered her to take responsibility for her own health and her own health care. My job is really just to kind of make sure she has the support that she needs and that I'm there to fill in the gaps. Well, our numbers are looking really good. Okay, so nice and steady. As needed, I'll communicate with her and her mom and her dad, um, keep everybody in the loop, make sure that everyone's all on the same page and we're all confident that Macy is staying safe. At the beginning of every year, I sit down with the nurse and the staff and I have a whole box of supplies and backup supplies, you know, a big, piece of it is educating them on how to use Givo Hypopen. My first concern as a healthcare provider was what to do in the case of a severe low or a hypoglycemic event. And that's when Macy's family informed me about Givo Hypopen. When I learned about Givo Hypopen, I was really excited. Everything is already pre-mixed, pre-measured, and you just don't want to have to fiddle around with something when you need immediate care. Cammie was a great advocate to make sure that everybody in the school and in the classroom was involved in part of Macy's daily care. My advice for parents that have um, children with type 1 diabetes that are in a school setting is to really be proactive with your child and with the school together. It can be a very scary thing to send your child to school when they have type 1 diabetes, and I would encourage any parent to work closely with their child's provider and the school to devise a plan. I would also really encourage parents to have something like a GVOC hypopen would be ideal. No one understands this disease state better than the people who are living with it themselves, and with that, you're the most equipped person to provide the education. Indication. Gvoke glucagon is a prescription medicine used to treat very low blood sugar in adults and children ages two years and above with diabetes. Important safety information. Do not use Gvoke if you have a tumor in the gland on top of your kidneys called a pheochromocytoma because of the risk of a substantial increase in blood pressure have a tumor in your pancreas called an insulinoma because of the risk of low blood sugar, are allergic to glucagon or any inactive ingredient in Gvoke, 
Stop using Gvoke and seek immediate medical attention if you experience any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, difficulty breathing, or low blood pressure. Before using Gvoke, tell your doctor about all the medicines you take and your medical conditions, including if you have not had food or water for a long time, prolonged fasting or starvation, have low blood sugar that does not go away, chronic hypoglycemia, or have a history of a skin rash called necrolytic migratory erythema, commonly associated with glucagon-producing tumors. The most common side effects reported in adults are nausea, vomiting, swelling at the injection site, and headache. The most common side effects reported in children are nausea, low blood sugar, vomiting, headache, abdominal pain, high blood sugar, pain or redness at injection site, and hives. Inform caregivers on the instructions for use of Gvoke and symptoms of severe hypoglycemia, which include unconsciousness and seizures or convulsions. Store in original container until time of use and at room temperature between 68 degrees Fahrenheit to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. You are encouraged to report side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov slash medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. Please talk to your doctor and see full prescribing information and patient information guide for Gvoke at www.gvokeglucagon.com.